Welcome, everybody, to the EVO 2012 Hi. launch webcast. Uh, this is an opportunity to learn about the Electronic Village online and discuss some of the sessions, a little bit about the history. Uh, we might do the welcome part of this not first because we have a couple session moderators who need to leave uh, very shortly. Uh, I will just say a quick hello to everyone. Uh, this is Jeff Lebo in Pusan, Korea. Uh, and with that, we'll turn over to the person who has to leave first, Graham Stanley, to tell us about his session. Thank you very much, Jeff. Um, it's a pleasure to be at uh, the TESOL EVO sessions once again. I've, uh, I took a sabbatical last year. And uh, this year I'm back um, with a co-moderating session on gamification in language teaching. Um, we plan on looking at um, computer games and various other uh, aspects of making language teaching um, into a game. Uh, over the course of the five weeks, we have a number of really interesting special guests and we'll, we'll be covering any, everything from um, classroom teachers using digital games to uh, professional development uh, through games and making your own games with your students. Uh, that was brief, but to the point. That was good. You must really be hungry. Uh or have to leave soon. Uh, what tools will you be using? What venues? Are you Yahoo group based or other stuff? No, actually, we, we have all of our content on a wiki, um, but we're planning on using Moodle mainly to deliver the content. Um, this was because we have access to Moodle, and uh, one of my co moderators, Paul Brabeck, um, was very interested in, in trying this out. Uh, and using it for the, the EVO session. So we're doing that. We'll be looking at a lot of Flash games. And um, I think we'll be also using the Illuminate uh, room, the Webhead's uh, Illuminate room for um, our weekly uh, live sessions. All right. Any, anyone have comments what, or questions? I had, for... a, I, had a, I had a quick question, Jeff, <clears throat> for Graham. What uh, kinds of games are you talking about again? Can you be a little more specific? Are they are they, are they uh, moves or what's going on? Yeah, um, principally uh, we'll be looking at um, digital games, which are free, um, flash-based online games, which don't require any downloading. Although there are some which you can download. Um, and which are principally their good games uh, more than anything else. So they're not educational games as such, although we will be looking at some games that have specifically been uh, designed for education. But the idea of using um, very good games uh, is comes from being able to motivate students um, and then the actual language aspect the language work comes from designing a task to go with it. Oh, that's really good. You really get into the pedagogical aspects of it. Uh, can I ask, yeah, is like Minecraft so. is Minecraft on your list, just out of curiosity? Um, I really like Minecraft, and uh, although I, I don't really know of anyone who's using it for English classes yet. I saw somebody who was planning to do that, but um, I'm not quite sure how. Uh, but I think um, I, I would like to bring it in. We haven't got it planned, but I think it'll it'll come up. For those of you who don't know um, what Minecraft is, it's a it's a very basic uh, online game which you can also download, uh, which um, is is a kind of a simple. Uh, it's almost like a simple version of um, Second Life. Because you can create um, st structures, etc., by digging out blocks. Basically, you 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 remove a block and then you can place a block. And uh, it's so it's a bit like Second Life, but it's got uh, it's very much more simplistic and easier to use. And it also has, uh, unlike Second Life, you can be attacked by zombies. Can't go wrong with zombies. Uh, Graham, there's a question in the uh, stream. Yeah, there's there's a question in the stream chat from uh, Carmen Missy. 
she wants to know uh, how she can get your book. You might want to just tell her. All oh, right. Uh, well, actually, this is one of the one of the things about our session is that um, myself and uh, <coughs> a colleague of mine, um, Kyle Moore, we have a blog which is Digital Play, uh, where you can you can find it at digitalplay.info backslash blog, and uh, we also the blog turned into a book this year, which we're very excited about, and a lot of um, what we'll be looking at. Uh, is, is based on the contents of the blog and the book. Um, where can you get it? Well, you can buy it on Amazon and uh, at all good bookshops, as they say. <laughs> all right. Anything else for Graham, or are we going to let him go? Any, or do you have any final words of wisdom for people who do want to join that session? Uh, anything they need to know about how to get involved or what they're going to need? Um, I think it's all pretty straightforward from the uh, call for participation. You can you can join. Um, I th the the first thing to do after that is you'll be creating an account on the Moodle, and uh, a lot of what we'll be doing will be uh, in the forums there, and. Um, hope to see lots of you uh, there in the coming weeks and uh, we'll be doing um, <clears throat> as I said uh, one live session every week with a special guest which I'm quite excited about we've got some uh, interesting people it, coming along what tools will uh, you be using for the live session um, I think we'll be using illuminate mainly uh, depending on the uh, the guest but uh, that's that's what we've got planned and uh, well, look forward to it. And uh, I also look forward to hearing uh, about everybody else's um, EVO sessions in the weeks to come as well. This, this is always the problem uh, with the Electronic Village Online is that there are so many sessions this year, as, as in every year, that look so really, really good. <laughs> but you, you can't go all of them, really. But uh, I do look forward to catching up on a lot of what, uh, what people are doing afterwards as well. well. Thanks very much everybody and uh, see you online soon. Thank you. We'll look forward to staying tuned. Have a great uh, afternoon. And uh, we will do more Thank of an... I would love to do an introduction to kind of a little bit of an overview to EVO, but we want to keep things moving. Uh, and Heike is the next who has to run. So Heike, can you tell us a little bit about your session? Actually, you can. Um, I've still got until a half an hour. Um, so I can be here. I have to leave dot half past. So if you wanted to do an introduction to Evo now, if you like, because people are interested what Evo is like overall all about. And uh, over to you, Jeff. Okay, and I will turn it over to Elizabeth Vance or whomever else wants to join in, uh, because I, I think it is such a unique experience that people aren't even if they've read their little call for participation. It's really hard to get a handle on what's going on, and I know. From past experience, you probably have some wisdom to share about how best to digest from the buffet that is EVO without getting full or nauseous. So uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, on that note, Elizabeth, would you like to say something about EVO? Well, Vance, I was going to have you go, but Sandra, it looks like you're ready. So go ahead. Let's say hi to Jack. <laughs> I was like, who's going on first? <laughs> no, I think we were going to ask Vance to go first. Well, I don't mind. Uh, anyway, I'm uh, again doing the multi literacy session, multi literacies for social networking and uh, collaboration environments online or something like that. And uh, lately we've been kind of evolving it into. Uh, a MOOC, and I, I think this session might be kind of like a MOOC because it's actually got 30 or 40 people enrolled in it already. That's the most people we've had enroll in that particular session. I think the session is a little bit, um, it's uh, its not one that, it's, it's different from other sessions. It doesn't really have a, a syllabus that we follow. Uh, it, we do follow it. The syllabus is there, but it's run uh, sort of along the lines of the MOOCs 
uh, if you listen, for example, to George Stevens talking about his books, he, he says that they address the need that everybody in, uh, in an education system really has particular needs. And so um, MOOCs are designed or not designed, if you like, to uh, address everybody's needs. And the way they do that, well, Dave Cormier has some, uh, uh, some videos that he's put out which uh, uh, explain how to get along in MOOCs. And you basically uh, um, orient yourself in a MOOC, you declare yourself, you network, you cluster, you know, and you focus. And that just happens to be five things, and that's five weeks for the course. So we're going to sort of focus on or concentrate on each of those uh, aspects of a MOOC. And, uh, 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 sorry to interject. Mm -hmm. uh, aside from the particular session that you're moderating, did you want to say anything about EVO in general, uh, either history well, or, or words of wisdom or anything. <laughs> okay. Um, I must have missed uh, a question earlier. <laughs> but, uh, well, I think I've been involved in EVO since the second session. Uh, that was in 2002. I guess the first one must have been in 2001. And the 2002 session that I did was uh, Webheads in Action, uh, which was kind of to show people how I had been trying to create learning environments for um, uh, ESL learners and to sort of model how they, sh they could do that. And this was before Moodle and lots of other things became popular. It's uh, kind of before wikis. I was sort of, sort of creating web spaces where we put up pictures and things like that and got let people get to know each other. So we had lots of ways where we and we got voice uh, plugins for our websites and things like that. So we were doing a lot of work uh, that we now take for granted, um, you know, in just bringing people together, showing them how they can uh, sort of modeling for each other because we all learn from each other, you know, how to learn from each other online and sustain these online communities. And we've looked uh, at what we've done from the vantage point of uh, groups and communities. We quickly got into the idea of communities of practice. Um, and uh, now I suppose we're looking more at networks, personal learning networks, distributed learning networks, uh, and of course the connectivist networks that uh, George Stevens talks about. So uh, we, we look at what we're doing. Uh, as it's evolved, it's gotten a lot more, it's gotten a lot easier to do what we're doing. Um, we've pretty much reached the point, I think, where you don't, uh, in order to learn, uh, you can do it the way we're doing. A lot of us think that we learn more uh, from what we're doing here in these sessions than we do from formal training. Um, and so we bridge uh, what we learn formally or what we teach formally with what we do informally and uh, try to bridge these these different environments and uh, you know help bring up everyone's learning in general. And, and by uh, doing that by learning ourselves and by modeling for others how we uh, best learn. So I guess that's what we're doing. All right. That's my perspective. I, I, I thank you for that. I figured for first timers, we should uh, provide some kind of overview. Did you want to add anything, Elizabeth? Yeah, I just wanted to say that EVO has been operating since um, 2002. I think there were one or two sessions in 2001, but in 2002, it really, really got going. And both Vance and I did a session, uh, different sessions at that time. But it was started by the call interest section of TESOL, and it was intended <clears throat> from the very beginning to be free and to encompass everyone around the world. And I think it really is meeting that goal. We have people from, uh, you know, 180 countries sometimes. So it's very exciting to be a part of this, and I'm, I'm glad I've been able to stick with it this long. So we ought to get to some of the other moderators and let them tell what's going on. Indeed. And I will just say, I've been tuning into the EVO since 2006, and it is just the the coolest, most global, most helpful support, professional development kind of experience I've, I've ever been part of. Uh, it can be overwhelming. Uh, and perhaps at some point, we might want to mention a few words about how best to digest stuff. Uh, but let us proceed on our uh, uh, buffet here uh, with Heike, who's going to tell us about her session. If there's anyone else who is a moderator for Heike's session, please feel free to join the Hangout uh, at this time. We have a couple spaces open.
Over to you, Heike. Yeah, and thank you very much for every, everybody. I'm, I'm really totally excited to be part of this EVO session. I've done so for many, many years, know many personally, and thanks, Jeff, for organizing this kickoff, and thanks to everyone, especially the EVO mock coordinators, um, for their hard work. I mean, this is this is a tremendous hard work. And it's so nice to see Shelley. How are you doing? <laughs> Wonderful. And um, um, yeah, about the um, Machinevo session, now I would like to tell about it. Now, I wanted um, to have Pionia also join this session. Pionia is Doris Malera in real life, uh, as her Dr. Doris Malera in Venezuela. Of course, you all know her. She is called Pionia Day in Second Life. They are at the moment in world. At, actually, there's quite a few of them there. One of them whom you know, oh, that is Stock Bear. Let me just log in again, because um, I have a bit of a technical issue here with a with a graphics card that every now and again goes black. So I had to quickly go over to my laptop, since this is why you saw me coming in and out. And the, the, the sad thing is, I wanted to take the webcam and point towards the scene in Second Life at Edunation, where Pionia at the moment is sitting. Um, this this guy's stock bear. I'll tell you in a minute uh, the name. But at the top, I don't have a possibility to turn around the webcam to actually show you my screen, which is what I wanted to do. <laughs> so they're sitting there waiting for me to give them a show. But <laughs> unfortunately, technically, that is not quite possible. And, at and Heike, I know it might be hard <clears throat> so for let you me tell to you imagine. Briefly about Nashinivo. Yeah, I, I was wondering because you're talking about Very Second hard, Life, and I'm wondering if there might actually be people who. Apologies don't know much at all about Second Life. OK, very, very good question. Now, Second Life is a virtual world. Um, it is not a game. It's not like uh, what Graham Stanley said, that Lego of the internet. What is it called? Minecraft, yeah? We call it the Lego because <laughs> of the boxes. <laughs> Um, Second Life is a virtual world that has been created by its residents. That means that all of the computer graphics you see in Second Life are made by people and not by computer-generated game kind of monsters and what have you. So there's a world out there and people create the most wonderful and very they're artistic, they're creative. Um, Second Life has improved graphically a lot with the introduction of Mesh, which is a kind of a Blender uh, um, or SketchUp, Google SketchUp is Mesh. People can now design the 3D objects on the computer and then can import them into Second Life. And that has made a world of difference to Second Life in the last two years as I've seen it with regards to the beauty and also the functionality, I mean, it's no longer crashing on us and the voice of IP works and, and things look very beautiful and they're very, very artistic and creative and fantastic. You know, you have to come over. So what we've decided to do now with Machine Evo is the following. Uh, at the Evo sessions for a three year in a row, um, newbie sessions were run. That means that the language educators around the world that attend EVO session, and I believe there are about 2,000 of them, could join Second Life, even without experience, and could learn how to walk, how to get dressed, and how to explore this environment for language learning. And for language learning, this environment is wonderful because you can actually go up to a person and talk to him in English, and that person could be anywhere in the world. <laughs> you don't need his Skype ID, you don't need his email address, you can actually just talk to him in this environment because you see him standing in front of you. You don't know where he is, but he's only our avatar, but he's alive, you know. And so um, this environment is wonderful for language education. Yeah? And um, the language educators we introduced to that, we also introduced them to the use of holodecks for scenes, etc. But that's been three years. And now, this year, it's the first time ever that we decided to do a session for those experienced in Second Life. Because we feel there are few about it. And we were actually astounded to see more than 70 language educators register on our Ning site 
which is the imagineva.ning.com. It's a very tiny little Ning. It hasn't got groups and events and stuff, but <laughs> it's a Ning. <laughs> so um, so we've, we, were, we were blown away by more than 70 actually signing up. We expected about 15. <laughs> and then, so now we're, we're overwhelmed with uh, participants and we're very, very happy that you all join for us. So what, what will we do? Five weeks, we will create language learning videos eventually. The first week, we'll just sit there and watch machinimas. Now, a machinima is a film recorded of Second Life. Yeah, just when you have Second Life open, the application you recorded, that's machinima. And machinimas are a mixture of machine and cinema. So that's where the name comes from. So uh -huh. we will do machinimas. And the machinimas will be about language learning conversations, like how to buy rolls in a bakery. And you can imagine that bakery and the shop assistant, and you ask, may I have three rolls? And she gives you a bag. And that's sort of the what we want to do. Yeah. Um, we haven't got a clue about how it works. <laughs> None of us has film making experience. We're totally dumbos when it comes to that. So we've actually decided to invite some experts into our group because we we haven't got a clue about how to make a proper film. We're language educators. Come on, we're not film producers. So we decided to ask a few people who help us, those who are experienced film producers, and those who are like um, experts in uh, you know lighting and all this sort of stuff. So we were looking we're looking forward to a very new session totally explorative that means nothing is set in stone everything open everybody brings his experience and let's see what happens that was me thank you and sadly i can't show you second life i'm doomed but they're not, they're join your session there. and i'm sure people will see plenty of second life <laughs> okay yeah, yeah. Thank so you. Uh, thank many you, thank regards you. from the moderator team can i just mention the moderator team so the moderator team is Dr. Randall Sadler of the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, old TESOL member. Of course, he teaches TESOL teachers at the university. So he's, um, he runs education, as some of you know. Then we have Dr. Doris Molero. Of course, we have Dennis Newson, our most wonderful, very busy, retired English teacher. <laughs> <laughs> who runs, I don't know how many Evo sessions at the same time. <coughs> and then we have um, um, Mark in, in Paris, who's a kind of a film producer. Well, he likes the filmmaking, the recording and stuff. He's a French-German teacher. Then we have Carol Rainbow. And Carol Rainbow, this year she's done a TEFL online. She's now an official TEFL teacher. <laughs> We're so happy. She teaches at Language Lab, will you believe it or not? We're so thrilled. After retirement, she decided to become an English teacher, officially. Then we have Marissa Konstantinidis from uh, CELT Athens as a moderator. And that's it. That's seven of us, I believe. I hope I haven't forgotten any. So Randall, Doris, Carol, Mark. Um, <clears throat> oh, Saiba is not part of it, I'm afraid. Marissa. Uh, one more person is missing. Oh my goodness. Let me quickly look at it. <laughs> Who is missing? Dang. <laughs> One moment. Machinevo.pbworks.com. <clears throat> okay, Randall, Carol, Dennis, Pionia, and myself, Marissa, and Mark. Okay, I forgot myself. That's not too bad. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening, everybody. And is that Mark, Mark Wilson, who's in? Or hang Sorry, out now, I'm or... just uh, muting my mic because for some reason it hasn't kind of budged. So, okay. Sorry. I'm off and out. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Heike. Um, Heike and... I, I just wanted to mention that's that's so great because it's, it's typical of uh, Electronic Village Online that people will offer a session and then they themselves learn a great deal about the subject as they are presenting. So... Very nice. Thanks so much for coming and joining us again. You've been uh, a participant in EVO for the past year or two, isn't that right? 
Yeah, it's actually the. I think it's the second real session. I'm, no, the third real session I'm running. The third session I'm running. <laughs> but not me. The team. Come on, it's not me. <laughs> so many greetings from the others. Uh, I think I'm going to leave the Hangout because I'm observing from the Illuminate uh, chat that there are some people who want to come in here. And so I think I'm going to go over and listen to the stream on the, in some other venue. Same but, here, and uh, I must leave too. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye, everybody. Bye, thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, so bye. maybe if you don't essentially have to be here, you could uh, pop out and let others come. Yeah, and uh, I just want sure. to check in with the people who – I'm thinking next we should probably talk about becoming a webhead. Uh, and if for the people who are here and, and not involved in that um, – and Shelly, if you want to stick around, we can do your session next. I want to check in with Mark. Um, are you a, a session moderator or a participant? All right. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna right. pop out. Yeah. We we have space. Feel free oh. to stick around until we're we're full. We're full if you want. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if Teresa or Fernanda or Larissa or Sharon are out there, uh, but we'd. Love to have you join the Hangout now if you are available. I, yeah, I count seven in here, and we can have three more. Is that right? Yes. And uh, Eduardo, Eduardo has just us. come in. So, well, maybe I'll, I'll pop out. I'll, I'll come back in again if you just announce that it's empty. Well, I'll be, I'll be able to. No, I can't really see. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll go to the live stream and see what I can see there. All right. Yeah, I'll come back. We have uh, two or three people in Illuminate who are moderators who want to come in and present, and we can't seem to find a way to get them in. Do you have any suggestions uh, about I that, I will go Jeff? ahead. Lawan and Barb. And put in the, uh, the link. And I'm going to put the link in the Illuminate. I, I want to encourage yes, just the moderators to join. Uh, basically, the Hangout, uh, if you're just kind of tuning in, I would suggest uh, going to the Webheads room or, if you prefer, Illuminate. Uh, uh, and on the note, uh, Eduardo, on the I just wanted to check in with you, Eduardo. Um, are you a, a session moderator a or session an EVO participant? I just joined in and I'm kind of lost in here, so I would appreciate if, some help on guide. Certainly. Were you watching the webcast first? Mm, I totally random and I'm here through the Canopy plugin. Okay. We're doing like a, a, a webcast about, yeah. about uh, an, a, a language learning professional development thing. If I could ask you to tune in to this rather than join the Hangout, and you can do that at webheadsinaction.org slash live. I will put that could in you, the Hangout chat. Could you type chat. that in the, yeah. in the chat? Yeah, thanks. Um, and you can tune in there, and we're sort of going to have an open floor toward the end, and we'd be delighted to have you join in again then. Okay. All right. Nice to Thank briefly you meet you. All right. Thank you again. I'm trying to find this again. All right. Okay. And KS, what brings you to this Hangout? KS Hussein has perhaps stepped out. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I put in the wrong link for the uh, the Hangout, I believe. Oh, no, I didn't. That is the Hangout link. Um, and again, uh, Kes Hussein, are you part of EVO or a session moderator? If I could ask you to step out of the Hangout and tune in at webheadsinaction.org slash live. KS? All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and mute you for now. Um, and do we know what problems people are having joining the Hangout, Elizabeth? Um, I think Lawan just joined, but then I, now they've disappeared. Oh, Lawan is here. No, and, no, Lawan is here. And Barbara Hoskins here. Sakamoto okay. has joined. But no video. 
and Barbara, good, okay. And Mariana, are, oh, Mariana, good. let's try your video. Let's see how your connection is. Uh, okay. No, I don't think it's very great. Hi, everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, you're getting choppy again. It's a nice video, hello. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to um, email Teresa. She said that she's going to be late. Uh, she will join us at about two, um, p.m. Uh, Greenwich time, so that would be around three for uh, us. Um, so I'm just going to send her email. If she doesn't join, I or Mubarak or Larissa, I don't know, we can talk about becoming a webhead. But so far, I think Shelley or the other moderators can talk about their sessions. Okay. All right. Why don't we do that? We'll stand by for becoming a webhead and turn okay, the floor I'll, I'll over be... to Ms. Shelley Terrell. Yes. And Shelley, I muted you when you first joined because there were some wrestling noises. You can unmute yourself. I think I I just myself. No problem. Yeah, my my pug is snoring here. Um, so <laughs> actually, uh, it's me and Barb here today. Um, Barbara Haskins Sakamoto, and we will both be talking about our session, which is the uh, digital storytelling for young learners. Um, we have a dream team, as I like to say, from all over the world. Um, that will be running this session. Uh, Barbara is one of them. Um, a lot of them are authors uh, about young learners. They've been young learner teachers for years and uh, they also do frequent presentations and webinars. So we have a great team. I'd like to mention them. It's uh, Ezra Gurjian from Turkey, Barbara Sakamoto from Japan, Ozge Kuraglu from Turkey, Jennifer Vershaw from Argentina, David Dodson from Turkey. Um, we also have Michelle Worgan, and I'm not sure where Michelle's from. I think she's based in the UK right now. And then Sabrina DeVita, who's in Argentina. And then me, um, I'm in the US right now. Um, we are going to have a lot of fun in our session. We have about 170 members already, so, um, we are, are really excited. Um, we will be doing a lot of projects for kids each year. We have, a, I mean, each week we have a focus. Uh, we'll be doing uh, covering comics. We'll be doing mobile learning devices, uh, video stories, collaborative stories, and uh, we will do this on the posturous. So um, we will have a portfolio at the end that you can showcase. So you will be creating these stories. Um, as an educator and if you're not a young learners teacher we've had a lot in the group who have mentioned that yeah, digital storytelling isn't for only young learners um, we have this focus because that's our expertise in this but um, you're more than welcome to join even if you're a teacher trainer um, which we've had a lot of people doing that as well or for research purposes or just if you want to use these stories with your kiddos. So um, we're, we're very, very excited to have everyone. We will be doing live sessions like Graham Stanley talked about. Um, and we were thankful to the web heads because we will, they have offered to let us use their um, Illuminate room. So we're really excited about that. Um, and then we will also be, um, we also have the wiki page. You can go to digital storytelling the number four kids dot pbworks dot com and uh, that's where you'll find out most of the information um, and uh, I'll introduce you one more little moderator I forgot because he's in the in pretty much all my stories but uh, this is Roscoe he's my co-moderator here and uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll give it over to Barb now if she wants to add anything R Roscoe's a pretty <laughs> famous pug I mean he probably has more Twitter followers than uh, most people <laughs> If he had a Twitter he account. Facebook fan page. <laughs> um, yeah. And Barbara, I just want to let you know I muted you while you were Thank gone. Thank you for okay. that. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> and also I wanted to point out to Elizabeth that a, a Google Hangout is totally democratic. We can all mute each other. Um, and the way you do it, you mouse over someone and you see the little speaker thing. And if you click that, you can mute them. Dave Cormie and I have mute battles all the time. <laughs> anyway, Barbara, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Well, Shelley covered most of it. I think uh, Michelle is also over. Uh, what happened? <laughs> anyway, Michelle is over in the Illuminate, but she doesn't seem to want to come over. She's being shy. 
Um, one of the things that Shelley mentioned was that we were really international, but to get a feeling for that, we have members from both Hawaii and New Zealand this year, which means that, for example, right now, it's about 3.30 in the morning in Hawaii and 2.30 in the morning in New Zealand, but it's two different days. <laughs> it's 3.30 in the morning on Sunday in Hawaii, and it's 2.30 in the morning on Monday in New Zealand. So it's morning for Shelley, it's bedtime for me, and it's going to be a lot of fun. We've That's got a, about 30 countries, which is pretty typical for an EVO. And uh, of our, our members, we've got a range of elementary school teachers, private language school teachers, librarians, teacher trainers, uh, university professors, grandparents and just about anything else you can imagine. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we have quite a few participants from Asia, which I am extremely excited about, because usually it's like Jeff and me. <laughs> <laughs> Team Asia. <laughs> Yay, Asia. But we have a lot from Asia this year, especially in, at least in our session. And I, I think I've seen them in others too. I just wanted to address a question from uh, Maria in the chat room who says, uh, sounds interesting, can I still join? And the answer to that for your session yes. and every session is yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. There's still time. Oh, you're and muted, Looks Elizabeth. like somebody just put a list there for the call for participation. So, yes, you can join. Michelle, did you have anything else you wanted to add? If you don't want to talk, you can just put it in the chat. And we should also mention, you know, there's so many interesting things going on during an EVO and, you know, you can maybe keep up with one or two sessions, but everything is archived. You know, EVO keeps giving even after February 12th. Um, and especially for digital storytelling, I'm kind of curious, what kind of archives will there be? You mentioned Posturus. Uh, are there going to be YouTube videos or a channel we can tune into or any other uh, aspect of the archive? Uh, the answer to that is yes. We will have amazing kind of um, archives already. You can go to digital storytelling, the number four, kids.posterous.com, and then you can see the three, two, one introductions that are already being um, out, uh, that are already out there. And one of the great things that we decided to do um, was that we decided that with the, the postures is so easy. So basically, any of our participants um, can just email their stories. They can do it in any type of format. Um, and we've encouraged that. We've encouraged um, comic just so that they can play with. Uh, we do have a sandbox area. A sandbox, uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of other um, EVO sessions will have this as well. And um, what it basically is, is it's a page that lists hundreds of tools and we have hundreds already listed in ours um, and we encourage participants to go there to just try any of the tools they think are interesting and create um, whatever the project or the story telling task is for that week so if you go to the postures that's our 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 participant web portfolio and you can begin seeing uh, some of the really cool things that, that we've already started uploading there All right. Anything else uh, you want to share or anything else people should know about the session? No, I, I'm going to go ahead and check out so somebody else can get in the Hangout. Me well, too. Bye, Bob. <laughs> thank you both. Bye, everyone. Thank bye. you. Have a great bye, session. Shelley. Bye, and, um, Sorry, Sorry to, to join you again. Um, are you hearing me okay? Yes. Are you hearing me? You just can't leave us, can you? <laughs> okay. Hi, Heike. No, I can't. And I really should be running. But the thing is that I managed to install that webcam that is the flexible webcam. And there are these guys in Second Life just sitting there and wanting to, to say hello. Is that okay? Certainly. Let me show them to you. So here it is. Okay. Here we are, everybody. Okay. Now, finally, I'm not quite sure what you see. 
but uh, uh, let me just check check with whether I'm holding the webcam or right. <laughs> uh, um, okay, I have to quickly look at the Hangout in order just to see which direction the webcam is supposed to yeah, be. Yeah, lower it. It needed to be lowered a little. So that a little bit lowered. Okay, this is about right, right? So if I put it down here, and um, and then I change over to this second light. Okay. That's sort of roughly what you see. Um, hello. Yes. Are you okay. seeing second light now? Do yes. you see Pionia? I want to show you Pionia. <laughs> let me, but let me maneuver this webcam a little bit so I can move the screen. Oops, that's Skype. That's not. Can you confirm to me that you're seeing anything? Yes, we are. Okay, that's excellent. So here is, um, it's a bit difficult to maneuver because of um, me um, not being able to really go on the computer. Okay, here's Pionia. <laughs> hang on, hang on, there she is. A uh, little bit from the top. Okay, there she is. So Pionia, she's online now, and um, Pionia, she's actually an Illuminate also, so she can she can see what we are seeing, Pionia. Um, and you know, I did want to mention that there is an you. IceCast stream for this webcast if folks in world are interested in listening in. Oh, is it? Oh, is it as well? Excellent. Oh, Jeff, you're amazing. Absolutely. And amazing. if, if yeah, I had known you were going to use show Second you. Life, we could have uh, we could have set that up as well. Next time. Yeah, we could have done a bit of a streaming at least. So let me just show you the the one in Korea. That's um, oops, Stockley. Oh, Stokely. Hey, Stokely. I, I, I didn't know you were a Second Life lovely? geek too. What a multifaceted geek. And I say that with all, all yeah, due respect. And, okay, next to it is Korea. It's Helen Myers in Second Life, well, in real life. That's Lynn here. Jens, we know. Oh, Jens is the most well-known person out there. Oops, where is he? Okay, and Missy Ferraris. Missy, who is the... I'm ever so sorry my navigation skills are really poor because of the webcam spitting in the way. Um, here is Missy Ferraris in beautiful winter clothing. So it's, um, Missy Ferraris is Carmen del Armia. Of course, you know them all, but they just look a little different and a bit slimmer and a more beautiful. Bethany is around, Webhead, whom else we got, and Barbara Novelli. Vicky, Vicky as well, Vicky Philly. Do you know Vicky Philly, who's at the moment a little gray? She is Vicky Hollett. Everybody's Winchell. looking a little gray, Winchell frankly. Air. I, I, I can't remember her. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, it's, it's everything little gray. Okay, anyway, I'm, I'm nearly finished my round of introduction. And um, have, have you all seen them? Uh, sorry, my navigation's poorly. I haven't got it. <laughs> So that's them, everybody here sitting there and watching the, um, also in Illuminate, the Love Eva session. And thanks to you all for having me show this real quickly. And now I'm really off. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the tour. So. All right, so uh, we do have Jeff, space. Yes. Okay, I'm off. <laughs> Jeff, I wanted to ask you if you can invite Teresa. Uh, uh, she uh, should be invited already. Uh, if mm -hmm. not, she should be able to click on the, uh, the hangout, hangout link that join. I've put in there a few times. Let me. Is that on her uh, Google uh, Plus page? Uh, it Ev should be on her Google Plus page, on my Google Plus okay. page, and you okay, can also. Okay, so I'm. So I've just uh, got a message from her in Yahoo groups. I hope she will, if she hears us now, join us. Uh, I'm going to leave when she joins so that there is not so many of us there. Oh, She's no, going no, to no, talk no, no, about... no, you, you, you stick around. <laughs> we have space. <laughs> okay, so uh, Jose is also here. Hi, Jose. Uh, so I'm just going to check if uh, Teresa will join. She's our main coordinator of the Becoming a Webhead 2012. And uh, I hope she will join us soon. Before that, somebody else can talk about um, their sessions.
So the Hangout is open. If there's anyone who is kind of eager to tell us about their session, please go ahead and join the Hangout. I will put uh, the Hangout URL in there one more there time. There was a question for Shelley in the... Can I just mention something really quick, please? Sorry. Yeah, please, Shelley, please. Uh, <laughs> I just forgot to say for, for the session really quick that um, we'd really like to thank our mentor. We had an incredible mentor, which is uh, Elizabeth um, Ann, and she's from Grenoble, and, and she's just an amazing and really helped us. This is the first time that I've organized a session, although Barb has done many, so she's an expert, and she's one of our, our moderators, but that's all I wanted to say. So, hey, and we saw Elizabeth uh, Ann briefly during me, the red but... carpet. Feel free to jump in if you'd like. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, everyone. While we're waiting for uh, session moderators to join in, is there anything uh, we'd like to share about EVO in general? Yes, Sandra, the floor is yours. OK. I, <clears throat> can you hear me? Yes. Yes. All right. I just wanted to. Uh, say hello. My name is Sandra Rogers, and I'm one of the EVO coordinators. And um, I'm also an Illuminate, so I've been chatting with some of you. So I just wanted to let you know that I'm I'm uh, Sandra, and I wanted to welcome the three new participants to EVO. So I know at first it may be overwhelming, and I just was going to just share from the standpoint of being a beginner that about three years ago I was in your shoes. So I had, I'd been a TESOL member for years, but I never knew about the Electronic Village Online. And I have learned so much from uh, the moderators and the mentors. Everyone is just so oh, gracious. No, no. Oh, I can hear somebody's <laughs> background. Yes. Um, are there any technical tips that we'd like to share um, to kind of make it a little bit less overwhelming, <laughs> things like digest your Yahoo mail or don't feel like you have yes. to read everything. Yes. And some people were asking, you know, I guess they've just kind of stumbled upon our session and uh, you're through Google Hangout and now there may be an Illuminate for the first time. So I was going to say that this session is recorded so you can hear it from the beginning. We share all of um, uh, any of these live events recorded. So even though for uh, you may not be able to attend something that's online in your session. Your moderators will, will record it, and so you'll have that time. And then also with the communication that most of these are asynchronous. So it means that you don't have to attend anything. It's just whenever you have time to be working on um, the projects that your uh, moderators have for you. So you'll communicate through email and you'll have what's most people have the Yahoo groups and so you'll be getting these emails but uh, Jeff was mentioning to set it for the daily digest so that you get a group of the emails instead of the you know the influx of mail that if you have 70 or 170 participants you don't want to be getting you know you want to get it in a grouping and they call that the daily digest so that's the number one <laughs> rule <laughs> yes and then that um, the, I guess the second thing is that this is you won't get to hear people very often uh, so some of them are synchronous like this event and they will be recorded uh, right. there was a question in a chat room about can we get a certificate of attendance and or achievement at the end of this and that's a no I know uh, it would just be impossible task number one for all uh, to because there's so many participants that are involved and did they I week so there's no way for us to really see that uh, to um, keep up with the certification so that's one of our uh, just I guess rules for Evo that there's no certification but I, I know that's within certain events that you might have a like a that you a certificate party there's different ways of, that that happen um, so it's more of the uh, enjoyment since nothing is paid for or certified so it's just a there's no real authentic certification it's so. all about intrinsic motivation yes you can always make your own certificate <laughs> yes. <laughs> Elizabeth, yeah, I should do you also add? yeah I, I just wanted to add to that that it, partly it's it's just an administrative nightmare to try and figure out who actually came to a session or didn't 
And it's partly that we have an agreement with TESOL, our sponsors, not to uh, conflict with their certificate program. And if you are interested really in an official document, you should take the TESOL on, uh, Certificate of Online Teaching, which they offer every year at about this time, unfortunately. It's, it usually conflicts. But they do have a series of online courses, which are not free, as ours are but you would get an official certification and it could be used toward uh, an academic program also. So our program, as Jeff said, is just uh, intrinsic motivation. You learn so many good things that it's really worth doing. Yes. If I can just say something, uh, Elizabeth really uh, said it correctly, and I love Sandra talking about being a newbie. We all were newbies. I was actually a newbie last year. I didn't know how to open a tab on online on Mozilla, and now I'm uh, like uh, doing uh, uh, multitasking at the same time, being in Yahoo groups and in Illuminate and webcasts, even though my connections are really bad. But um, when I wrote an article in, uh, for Creation Online Magazine about the EVO sessions and about about 2012, uh, the first thing that I said is actually that uh, uh, the people are very warm and um, uh, welcoming, but then again very professional, and it's all very casual. You can really learn a lot, um, have your own pace, and um, as you said, it's both asynchronously but also synchronously. You can meet so many great online educators and have fun at the same time. Well, that's from me for now. <laughs> and, and I would echo that. I mean, I think a big part of EVO is not the topic of your session, but just realizing, realizing that, oh my gosh, there's this huge world of language teaching professionals out there that I can connect with any time. And, you know, EVO is, is five weeks, but the communities behind it are 24-7. Yes. Yeah, and the communities are, are continually kind of expanding into other weeks. So, uh, for instance, becoming a webhead, you are invited to join the webheads after you take that session. And uh, it just is a way to expand our community and make it extend throughout the year. And I know other sessions leave up their wikis and their materials so people can go back to them uh, later on in uh, other years even and still see those materials and use them. All right. Well, we don't have uh, all the ball moderators. We've got a, a couple. Shall we move on to that? Or And again, if there are moderators for other sessions, well, we have space in the hangout. There is Larissa, a coordinator of our Becoming a Webhead 2012. Hi, Larissa. Are you still here? Hi. Because uh, Hi, Mariana. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. in, uh, well, I'm waiting uh, for Teresa. I have been sending her mails and uh, Yahoo group. Yeah, but uh, you can start maybe saying something about our session yeah me too and jay uh, is so yes hello um, Jose. hello everyone uh, uh my name is larissa i'm uh, from becoming a web head one of the co uh, co coordinators actually there are three of us teresa whom we are waiting right now and she should join us like at uh 14 gmt time uh and uh, Fernanda, but Fernanda, she can't make uh, this session today. And actually, there are several of us today in uh, Illuminate and here in Hangout. Mariana, she is uh, co-moderator of several sessions. Uh, Becoming a Webhead uh, is a five-week session um, uh, with uh, moderating, uh, which moderated by several uh, co-moderators. And uh, we usually use uh, wiki space uh, to upload our content. And for communication, we use uh, Yahoo group. And for a uh, live session, uh, we use Illuminate. And sometimes uh, for, I think, one of the session, right, uh, we use uh, WizIQ. And uh, the first session, uh, live session, our first live session will be next uh, week on Wednesday. And uh, it is tapped in session. Um, and uh, the focus of uh, the session is uh, integration technology in uh, language classroom. And this is a total hands-on workshop for all participants. Right now, we have registered 170 participants from different countries all over the world. And uh, we're still counting um, uh, new incoming uh, participants. Uh, 
So uh, the moderators of our session who are right now in our hangout, this is uh, J.A. <laughs> uh, Mariana and Embark is on El Illuminate. And uh, as I said, we are waiting for Teresa. So uh, if J.A. Uh, wants uh, to add something more specific, uh, to our content, I can give you the stage. J. A. We can hear you. Cannot hear you. You might need to unmute yourself. Uh, if you mouse over your little uh, You're talking, thumb. Asking me, Jeff. Uh, no, yeah. to J. A. It's done now. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. We got okay, you. Good. It, Go ahead, Jay. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Hello. Yes, yes. Hello, everyone. Yes. <laughs> it's nice to be here. Uh, I uh, like Larissa said. This is a nice course. What I have to add is something that Sandra already said that uh, becoming a webhead is like an introduction to the webhead and to e-learning for itself because it's like community building. Uh, and uh, the course doesn't stop when it finishes, you know, we continue in contact throughout the year helping teachers with projects because it's such a long uh, list of things that they learn, you know, and many of the things they have to di digest. Uh, some advice uh, for, I mean, uh, newbies is like you don't have to read everything you can select you don't have to reply to everything and you always have time to explore things later concerning week two I'm in week two you know uh, we deal more with uh, communication with asynchronous and synchronous communication uh, we exploring uh, Skype and uh, Yahoo Messenger and other tools and uh, so each week you have great uh, live sessions with uh, uh, Graham Stanley is one of our uh, guests. Uh, there is also Michael Colan. There is Claudio Azevedo from Brazil. He has this very interesting blog called Movie Segments. And uh, basically, that's all I have to say. Uh, let's wait for Teresa and see if Mariana wants to say something. She's in many sessions. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll jump in, and one of the yes, things that yes, please, Jeff. One, one of my favorite parts of the Becoming a Webhead session every year is you guys wind up producing, or we wind up producing, the list of tools, and it's always the latest ones, it's real uh, yeah, the, 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 uh, crowd crowdsourcing wisdom of, you know, all right, here's the latest, let's play with it, what do we like, what don't we like, so I always get really useful information about uh, the latest toys out there. Yeah. Yeah, Jeff, you're right. So what uh, the participants like, they can come and go, right, J.A.? Uh, when they create any mm -hmm. um, activities online, mm -hmm. uh, even after the becoming a web head session. And sometimes we have um, communication during summertime uh, when our participants from uh, January session uh, create something they post to us uh, through Yahoo group and uh, moderators and coordinators communicate with them. So, and also we have, as Jay uh, mentioned, uh, Google uh, synchronous uh, communication, uh, Google, um, <laughs> Skype and Yahoo Messenger. And uh, moderators of the week, uh, this is week two actually, it's coming uh, in a week. Uh, so uh, any participant can uh, practice individually with us, with moderators and coordinators who are available. And uh, they enjoy talking uh, with different participants from other countries as well using Skype and Yahoo Messenger. And Google and this Plus is Hangout. our usual social presence. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we need to explore it and um, try maybe sometimes. This is a good idea. And uh, they enjoy uh, practicing and building social uh, presence uh, before um, creating uh, activities, right, uh, Mariana and J.A.? And during yeah. week four, they create the activities and Lots. they exchange uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. what they create. And this is one of the, I think, uh, awesome and uh, very uh, wonderful uh, piece of uh, becoming a web head. This is um, a real uh, community of practice that uh, all EVO sessions are, actually. Uh, this is just my uh, uh, additions to what uh, J.A. Um, said. And Mariana, she also may uh, want to uh, add something else, right, Mariana? Go ahead. Uh, well, um, well, actually, Ayat, is, there is one of our colleagues also here in, uh, 
uh, Google and uh, yeah she's asked me I, am I still there and I am uh, unfortunately you cannot see my uh, uh, video then my voice is very <laughs> choppy as Jeff says <laughs> but okay I'm going to show it to you later but without uh, sound then oh uh, in week two uh, in week one you just um, meet e each other you meet uh, the, uh, uh, the participants meet uh, themselves and uh, write in Yahoo groups get acquainted to Yahoo groups and wiki uh, and of course in week two they start exploring some tools from audio or uh, uh, web uh, video tools and uh, what what is the most important that in week three we uh, this year we have how to create a blog or a wiki and when they do this they can even share their their uh, the things they have done in week two which is in a way uh, combining all the things in one place uh, which will be their some to hum, some, let's say presence online and we can see their progress and of course comment and on their progress congratulate them and everything they do um, uh, is actually uh, on their own pace. They, everything is written on the wiki. They can even ask us for help. And I love this being uh, on Skype or Yahoo Messenger and to talk with moderators. I really enjoyed that last year when I was one of the participants. And it's very helpful. I, uh, I was overwhelmed and happy by the opportunity that people give us. And they're all here. And I would like to say that actually it's teachers for teachers and um, everybody is willing to help. That is like the first rule of the netiquette that we learned in Bo 2012. And I'm still enthusiastic about Bo, about Bo and about Evo in general. Okay, that yeah, will be you. it for me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, just going, and, uh, I'm just going to wave everybody. I'm going to stop my mic and show my camera so that participants or anybody else Thank you, Mariana. And I just want to add that this is a real uh, international group of moderators and cardinates. We have representatives yes. from different countries like France, United States, uh, Russia, uh, Morocco, uh, Brazil, uh, GA, and Saudi Arabia, Egypt, uh, Croatia, and Romania. So all uh, five continents, uh, except uh, four continents, I'm sorry, no Australia yet. So uh, represent um, uh, becoming a web head. And this is one of the nice spirit of uh, building community on, uh, online. Yeah, so we're cool. still waiting for Teresa and hope she will make it. And I'm and, wondering if uh, while we're waiting, we might want to get Vance in here since he had a, a little something oh, yes. to do with that web head stuff. Yeah, I, I've always loved to see becoming a web head uh, take do off we, again. Do unmute. No, you don't have to unmute unless you're making noise. Uh, I, I unmute just to, you know, just to keep sounds down. But uh, uh, the, the original webhead session took place in 2002, which I think was the second year of EVO. And um, this, the third year of EVO, we, I, I decided I, I didn't want to do the webhead session again, so I made it a community of practice uh, thing, and we... Uh, took some people to um, to TESOL. We actually had a, a a live online session at TESOL, and at TESOL Baltimore, I believe it was at that time. Uh, but the following year, people just spontaneously thought that the webhead session was worth repeating, and they did. They just they they sort of formed a, a group. It was Teresa and Daphne and uh, Oh, I got, I'd, I'd just be leaving people out if I uh, if I started mentioning names, but uh, so many people, and it's really great to see uh, you guys there, Larissa and uh, Mariana, and uh, and all the people who are, and Teresa again, of course. Uh, you know, just uh, showing people how to you know, introducing people slowly into this process, which you know, obviously those of us like like Jeff uh, and I, and, and we we had some, you know, I'd like I really like to ask you also what you think of the hangout because. This kind of came up uh, with this kind of session. It, there was some concern that this would be too much to manage, and, and possibly it would be more comfortable for some just to run the session and illuminate. But here, I think we have a great learning opportunity to to model this kind of thing. And uh, so, I just wonder, as a lot of you are here for the very first time, you know how you how you feel that the the session uh, the, the hangout works for you, and um, you know if you think you might use it again or. Um, do you prefer it to other forms? Of course, the, the great advantage we have right here is that Jeff can record it, and therefore we get a recording. You get a recording in Illuminate very easily. But I understand that uh, recording Google Hangouts is coming. 
But anyway, uh, that's what we do. We sort of just bring people into this mix, but obviously some of us have been here for so long and have been working with these kind of materials. Uh, no telling how many computers Jeff has there in front of him, and of course Heike's and the people in Second Life, and all this mumble jumble is going on. And uh, uh, But in fact, you know, we really need to pay attention to the people who are just coming into the process, and, and that's what becoming a webhead does. And I'm, I really love seeing that session go year after year. And thank you very much for doing it. Uh, thank you, uh, Vance, for opening uh, this great session, Becoming a Webhead. And it's still uh, the spirit of uh, real community of practice. And uh, we still keep this uh, spirit and try to keep it to become a real webhead. Thank you, Vance. Uh, uh, Jeff, um, there is Ayat, uh, one of the moderators from Bo 2012, and I don't know how to invite her to Google Hangout. I have been asking, I have been sending her invitation through Google Hangout where we are. I don't know if I'm doing it correctly, but she can't see it on her Google uh, Plus wall. So she would like to say something. She's one of the modera uh, moderators of week uh, two. And there is also Hala. Uh, she's not with us here. She's from uh, Sudan. And there are like 13 of us this year, if I'm not uh, mistaken. What do you think, Larissa? There is Maria from Argentina as well. And um, Sharon. Sharon, yeah, she's Anisha, uh, like, uh, yeah, she's like a veteran now already. <laughs> I'm like, uh, like a baby. I'm like a baby uh, mode of this uh, year's Bo 2012. This is my first, second Evo and my first moderator. Uh, okay, just so to explain Jeff. how you can do this mm -hmm. and invite someone mm -hmm. to a Hangout. Yes, um, at, at the top of the Hangout window, you have a URL. Uh, yes, okay. You control who you invite to it and who will see this, but you can share this URL which I'm going to do in both chat rooms now, and I've pretty much anyone, her. You, she's, and mm -hmm. she still isn't able to join? No, 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 I have now sent it to ah. her. I, I have sent her like an invitation to come. I don't know how that appears. This is my first Google Hangout, and Vance's question, I love it. I love it, and fortunately, it's too bad it's only 10 people uh, available, but that's enough. Of course, my web camera works, but uh, then I have choppy uh, uh, sound, that's because of my wireless connections and a lot of people in my family online at the same time. Well, <laughs> that can be a problem. But okay, they they <laughs> they me that they are going to be nice until 4 p.m. here in Croatia. <laughs> okay, so I've sent Ayat a link. I hope she will come and uh, give a mic to somebody else now. Okay, just to make uh, more space here, so I'm thinking to leave and uh, join the Illuminate. And if Teresa will join, uh, it will be great to hear her voice. But it was uh, nice to talk about becoming a webhead, and I'm leaving. Thank you all. Bye. <laughs>